if you look closely at the uh, fingerboard and everything, this is totally with a beautiful imprint on the front and on the back. It's really very nice. It's very nice. So, um, definitely I'm recommending this laptop to anybody, really anybody who has money to afford it and wants probably the best laptop, one of the best out there. So, I'm going to come back when this has the boot manager up. Oops, there goes. Okay. So, we've got Windows 7 and Windows Vista. So, I'm going to show you the full boot process of Windows 7. And here it goes. Here's the awesome boot screen of Windows 7. Now, it is, I'm sorry, all the other videos on YouTube even have this problem, but, oh, this, mine is actually a lot darker in the middle, so you can see the actual effect. But that is really the effect of Windows 7 when it comes up. That is the boot screen. And it's animated. I got a comment from uh, somebody on YouTube saying, when I said, um, I'm happy to see another animated um, Windows boot screen. And he said they had that from 2000. And I said, I know, but I'm glad to see that instead of just having a still picture with a bar, I'm glad to see that they actually have something to tell you or something that's cool basically. So now I'm going to turn down the brightness again. That way you can see. There we are. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually come back and see if this works. Okay, that's a lot better. So Windows 7, I'm using the Ultimate version. And the only thing really that um, bothers me that I haven't installed yet but I know I could probably fix is the fact that my fingerprint reader down here does not work. Yes, I did turn off the light so it was easier to see. The fingerprint reader does not work. I have to get the drivers for that. Just how I had to get the uh, NVIDIA drivers for Arrow to work. So far, I've only had one blue screen of death. And I'm going to sign in here real quick. I've only had one BSOD. Uh, and that was my fault. It, I forgot to set up. And I sent a report back to Microsoft. If I closed this lid and it was set to hibernate or sleep and when it came back up it just gave me a blue screen and because it had to boot my BIOS again and Windows 7 really isn't ready to associate with your BIOS that much so um, that's the only blue screen that I've had and so far this is very very nice it's a very nice uh, laptop it's a very nice operating system it is build 7000 and down here is the super bar that everybody knows of. And what I did is I take, um, I just love the arrow effect. So what I do is I just go into port, uh, personalize. And I go right here. And for the Windows color, I go custom and put the color intensity way down. So it's a very nice glass effect. Now, within Windows 7, you will see the send feedback button on every single window that comes up. <coughs> And that is because it is a beta, and it, they really do want you to send feedback. So that's basically all it is. Don't worry, it's not a virus or anything. Um, Windows Media Player is, this is Windows Media Player 12 beta. It is very, very light on the system resources. I'm going to do recommended settings. I just want to, this is the first time I've run it. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Again, the send feedback right there. And the sidebar for Vista, hang on, let me get to the desktop. The sidebar is gone. It's totally gone. Alright? Now you just place gadgets or widgets, whatever you want to call them. You just put them on the desktop wherever you want. This is my f uh, five favorite, really, just the stocks and everything. But they do have a new one. <clears throat> let me go ahead and get it. Down here, I'm going to type in uh, gadgets or G GA. Okay, desktop gadget gallery. Again, you can download some from uh, Microsoft's website. And the cool thing about it is you can go right here, and this Media Center one is. Sorry, I'm doing this with the trackpad, so it's kind of hard. Okay. So, this Media Center one, once it loads, this is 64 bit Windows 7 beta ultimate and there you go you've got a bunch of different stuff in media center right on your desktop and a gadget now I don't know if in a lower RAM machine if this is um, 
really going to take up a lot of memory, which it probably does, but which I'm going to close it out right now because of that. But I don't know. It's really cool. It's really cool. So the weather gadget now has a new <clears throat> setting. Instead of having it like that all the time, you can now extend it so you can have the three-day forecast right there. It updates every hour. The CPU meter is the same. The calendar is the same and the stocks are the same. They haven't updated it that much, but I'm going to go ahead and still show you Windows Media Player right here. Custom settings. And I'm going to be showing you uh, my other account is Crystal Cheats. And I've been making a lot of Windows 7 videos on there. They're now going to be over here. So, on TechKid 4473. Uh, I just want to go next, 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 next. Yes, make it default. Uh, even though I don't want to, but it's the only thing I have. It's migrating the library. And there we go. Windows Media Player 12. And just to prove it to you, I'm just going to right click. Help. About Windows Media Player. Windows Media Player, I don't know if you can see that, but that is version 12. Alright, so, that's all I got for today. Uh, but you can see that this does run very fast, and it's a very nice laptop. It can run Windows 7, which m tells you that it is ready for when that comes out, probably in early 2010, but far away, but, you know, it's still good. If we're running the beta, it's fine. Um, I still have drivers to install. But um, this is TechKid4473. I'm going to be back with a bunch more uh, Windows 7 videos, so I'll see you later.